In today's quick tip video, we'll look at how to blend two images in Affinity Photo. You can start with two images like this, and then blend them into this. First, I'll create a new document in Affinity Photo. So I'll go File, New. And you can make it a size close to what you want your final image to be. I'll do 3200 by 1700 and click Create. Now I'll place my two images in my document. I'll go to File, Place. I'll browse to the two files on my computer. They're called Photo A and Photo B. I'll hold Shift to select them both. Then I'll click Open. And I can click and drag them on my document. I'll close the Assets panel here. Now I want to roughly place the images where they'll be in my final composition. I want this hammock to be on the bottom. I'll put the hammock somewhere over here. We can change it later. I actually want this person to be facing the other way. So I'll click Arrange, and then Flip Horizontal. And then I'll resize her so she's roughly in the position I want. Somewhere around there seems like a good start. So now I want to fade out this image of the woman and have it blend in with the picture behind it. So with my top photo selected here, I'm going to click the Mask Layer button. So I'll click Mask Layer. And I'll click the arrow here to expand it. And then I want to make sure my mask is selected. Now what I can do is click the Gradient tool over here. So I'll click Gradient tool. And with my mask selected, I can click and drag on the gradient. And what this is going to do is add a gradient mask to my top image. And this is effectively how we can blend in the two photos. So you can click and drag to get a better positioning of the gradient. And the longer you make the gradient, the more subtle the change will be. I'll make the bottom image a little bit bigger, so it fills up more space. I'll go back to my mask. I'll select the gradient tool again. And I kind of want it to be diagonal like this a little bit. And you can see there's a slider in the middle of the gradient. So I'll determine where the boundary falls off. I like that there. Now one mistake you might make if you select the mask here, if you put the gradient in the wrong place, you might see the seam of your bottom photo. Make sure you're far enough away from the edge so you don't see these seams. So somewhere around here is good. If you'd like to learn more about how masks work, be sure to check out my video on that subject. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.